Science Investigations. Actually, recently the esophagus radiography, which is the first model of investigation of the esophagus, has been replaced by uh, the endoscopy okay, of the esophagus. But still, the radiography of the esophagus, like plain X ray with the uh, barium swallow or solid swallow, okay, is still beneficial. And CT scan also for the esophageal cancer is still beneficial here for example we can see a uh, barium swallow for the esophagus okay uh, oh no uh, this is a solid swallow it may be a bread or marshmallow to take detect if we have any uh, dysphagia or any obstruction to esophagus okay uh, this solid is swallow is for a uh, motility disorder of the esophagus again this photo here this uh, parium swallow talks about multiple spasm in the esophagus okay so it's a motility uh, thing again okay and this uh, plain x-ray we can see uh, esophageal structure due to peptic ulcer I think there can okay, perforation I don't know uh, important thing that we have esophageal structure again a structure we have also video radiography of the esophagus and the benefit of that to uh, do it again and again and analyze every single detail in the esophageal study okay CT scan is uh, important and reliable actually and the esophageal cancer diagnosis and stage and so on okay so this is esophageal cancer as you can see here detected by this CT scan okay the esophageal is not uh, I'm sorry the uh, the radiography is not that good to diagnose the reflux uh, unless the uh, that reflux is a gross reflux we can see sometimes the parity of fasciitis and so on okay so this is the radiography of the esophagus so the endoscope actually is one of the most reliable now things to uh, diagnose the esophageal disorders and pathologies okay so it's one of the most common used to diagnose most of the conditions of the esophagus okay we have many types of the endoscope the rigid and the flexible endoscope the rigid types are now uh, less used okay now most of the uh, hospitals use the flexible method of endoscope routinely uh, this endoscope uh, help to diagnose and to treat some conditions of the esophagus like uh, detecting the presence of parrot esophagus for example taking a sample biopsy and the cytology okay to detect the presence of cancer or no okay it may dilate a structure and may uh, get out foreign body like we can see here okay so this is the endoscope routinely when the esophagus is checked the stomach the gastro the esophageal gastro junction and the stomach and the duodenum are also checked okay to see if there is any pathology in them under the doctor consultation general anesthesia is not required when we do esophagoscopy okay nowadays actually they use uh, fluorescein to visualize the esophagus so that some pathologies that are not clearly seen under the light uh, vision or the white uh, light will be seen under the fluorescein like the parrot esophagus for example now if you put a transducer on the tip of the endoscope with a high uh, mag waves a frequency waves okay 5 to 30 megahertz you will have what we what is called the endoscopography endosonography and the goal of the endosonography is to visualize the layers of the esophagus the mucosa the submucosa and the muscularis and the cirrhosis and so on and even the structures around the uh, esophagus in the mediastinum and you know that the esophagus is situated into the posterior mediastinum 
okay so this is the histology of the pancreas uh, I'm sorry of the esophagus that can be visualized with this uh, sonography okay endosonography here we can see the mucosa and the DV mucosa the muscularis mucosa after that the sub mucosa then the muscularis propria and the serosa okay the manometry the manometry which is a very important method of investigation of the motility of the esophagus is a tube that is introduced into the esophagus and the stomach this tube is multiluminal and has many trans transducer about third, uh, three to eight okay after introdu being introduced into the stomach it is withdrawn from the uh, stomach into the esophagus uh, progressively okay at the lower esophageal sphincter the manometry calculate the length and the pressure at this area okay and the motility and uh, during swallowing this manometry record the motility of the esophagus at many sites okay here we can see here and here these waves are the waves of the manometry to detect any the presence of any a motility disorder of the esophagus the good news about the manometry that it uh, calculates the esophageal motility but it, uh, it is not affected by the uh, motility of the patient okay pH 24 hour pH uh, recorder and impedance recorder of the pH this is an uh, a t this is a tube that is introduced through the nose uh, catheter uh, into the esophagus okay and it's situated about five centimeters from the lower esophageal sphincter the function of this tube is to calculate the pH of the esophagus the, esophag the esophagus pH should not get uh, below 4 okay uh, in normal adult the pH should uh, below 4 should not exceed 4% of the whole time of the 24 hours okay if more than 4% of the 24 hours uh, were with pH of 4 of less than 4 then the, uh, you can diagnose the gastroesophageal reflux disease the best method of gastroesophageal reflux disease diagnosis now is that pH 24 hour and uh, other uh, the impedance pH 24 hour measurement okay the impedance can calculate the uh, whether the food is retrogradely or protrogradely movement okay so it can calculate the uh, direction of food movement in addition to the pH of the esophagus or and can calculate also whether the content of the esophagus that uh, is fluid, solid, or gases. Okay, so it's very re reliable now to use this method of uh, measuring the pH of the esophagus. This meth method of investigation, the patient can also mark if he has any heart pain or esophageal symptoms. Okay and uh, finally after taking that build and that recordings uh, they will be correlated with the uh, pH of the esophagus to diagnose the patient so I talked about the investigations of the esophagus the radiography the endoscopy and the endoscopy uh, okay and the pH monometry and the sorry I mean the uh, manu esophageal manometry and the P 24 hour pH calculator and pH uh, impedance there are also some therapeutic procedures that we can do in the pancreas dilation of strictures we can dilate stricture with a solid material or a balloon okay not going to talk about that in details and we have also the thermal recanalization using alcohol or argon plasma coagulation 
to a plate tissue in order to recanalize the esophagus. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next video to talk about the esophageal pathologies.